All 96 tracks in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe ranked. From S being the best to F being the worst. Mario Kart Stadium, the first track of the game. It gave a new twist to the usual circuit tracks, but at the end of the day, it's still a pretty simple and boring track in my opinion, with not a lot of interesting shortcuts besides from the Shumla shortcut and the motion that occur at the end. C tier. Water pipe. One of the most underrated tracks. I love the design and the driving feeling at the underwater part is pretty nice. Also has one of the most interesting glider strats at the ending which makes it a very satisfying track to play when being good at it especially since this is usually a great front running track for my experience a tier sweet sweet canyon very chill track but i know a lot of interesting stuff regarding shortcuts or strats a decent shortcut right at the end to make a good comeback on with shrooms b tier one bruins a pretty simple one but i do love the idea of placing twarms around the whole map a tier. Mario Kart 8 Mario Circuit. I'm not the biggest fan of circuit tracks due to the simplicity of what you're gonna say. This one, however, is alright because it doesn't feel boring due to the anti-gravity. C tier. Toad Harbor. This one has one of the most satisfying super bounce in the game, which you can do on the train. Overall, a pretty nice drive. A tier. Twisted Mansion. Halloween has always been my favorite day of the year and this track encapsulates it very well. Most of the time a fine track to front run on but also a good comeback one because of the big ending shortcut. A tier. Shy Guy Falls. This used to be my favorite track back when it was just called Mario Kart 8 and it was on the Wii U. Amazing idea of a track and a very nice big shortcut right at the end which is even greater on 200cc. A tier. Sunshine Airport. You can do a lot of satisfying mini turbo stunts on this one and at at the ending, there is also one of the most satisfying mini turbo gliders. Just one shortcut, pretty simple, and a great low sun at the end. B tier. Dolphin Shoals. People mostly either love or hate this one. I think it's a very nice underwater track, and the stun spamming you can do on the eel is extremely satisfying. It also has a big motion glider ending shortcut, which looks insane. B tier. Electrodrome. Has a great idea, but the driving on it still mostly feels pretty simple. Still a nice track, though. B tier. Mount Wario. Okay, this one is gonna be a controversial one, but I just think this one is just okay. The space in lap 1 is extremely tight and very bumpy online due to that. Lap 2 is probably my favorite part of the track, but the glider section of lap 3 is usually very annoying. C tier. Cloud Top Cruise. The beginning is amazing with a great super bounce, but the middle section is pretty boring. B tier. Bone Dry Dunes. I usually love desert tracks. This one is a bit weaker though, which is mostly caused by the very tight spaces in my opinion, but still a fine track. B tier. Bowser's Castle. My favorite track in America Wii was Bowser's castle this one here is pretty nice love the stun spam you can do on the bowser part the glider section at the end is not too long which is a big up for me since i hate flying for too long which you're gonna see a tier mark at eight rainbow road great gliders and cannons and a nice from the striker not too interesting but decent b tier so at this point you might be thinking this dude doesn't rank any track below c tier well yeah but don't worry that's gonna change very soon moo moo meadows well this could be the first track on the list to be below c tier for many people, I still somewhat like it. Very short, very simple, big bagging track, but it's still a bit special to me because of my career. C tier. GBA Mario Circuit. Another bagging track, but one of the better big bagging tracks in my opinion. C tier. Cheap Cheap Beach. This is usually my favorite track in summer. The water looks absolutely beautiful and it's a great drive as well. A tier. Toad's Turnpike. Yes, this is the first one for me to score below C tier. And that's just a bit below, way below. This track sucks, man. No shortcuts just a very boring drive and way too chaotic online. E tier. Dry Dry Desert. Even though this is probably the biggest bagging track in the game, I love desert tracks and you can sometimes actually run this by stacking up on 10 coins very early. B tier. Donut Plains. Very simple track. Not bad, not good. Can't really say a lot to this one. C tier. Royal Raceway. Another very simple circuit-ish track. Big bagging track as well. C tier. DK Jungle. People are gonna hate me for this, but I think this is just the most overrated track in the game. In. This is basically just like a glorified rock rock mountain. The super bounce at the beginning is awkward, the shroomless cut is not satisfying, and the glider section at the end is just annoying. I would put this one on the lowest tier, but there are just a few tracks still that are even worse in my opinion. E tier. Wario Stadium. I started to love this track when I got deeper into the competitive scene, because this track has so many strats that it's one of the most satisfying tracks to drive when you mastered all of them. The counter up into mini turbo stun is great, the mini turbo ramp looks great when you do them and the mini turbo glider right at the end just feels amazing. A tier. Sherbet Land. A beautiful winter track, almost no shortcuts sadly and not a lot of interesting strats besides from just snaking around in the beginning. B tier. Music Pike. This track kind of overstimulates me but the driving can be pretty nice. C tier. Yoshi Valley. Very simple 
Jack and a bagging one as well because of the big ending shotgun. Although, I usually do have success by running this Jack. B tier. TikTok lock. Love the idea, but overall still a pretty simple drive, but the ending section is great. B tier. Piranha Plant Slide. I already didn't really like this Jack when I played it in my card 7, and it's a much better here. The underwater section is the worst underwater section in the entire game. D tier. Rumble Volcano. If they would have kept the Rock Hop Shortcut from my card in this game, this would be an easy S tier track, but this is still an amazing track. A tier. N64 Rainbow Road. This is the most simple Rainbow Road, and as soon as you get hit, it's most likely over on a high level since there are zero shortcuts on this track. D tier. Yoshi Circuit. My favorite track that has a circuit in the name. Big bang track because of the bullet bill extension, but running this can sometimes work out. B tier. Excite Bike Arena. Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. This is my least favorite track in the entire game. One could say that this is the most overrated track in the game, which I would agree on, but it's usually just Japanese players that vote for it. So if you're from Europe, just like me, just play the game in the evening and you won't get this track. Thanks, Kusan. Going back to the track, this is still the most boring design track, and it still doesn't look fun to me even when someone plays it very well. F tier. Dragon Driftway. The drift tier slap. There's also a small gap jump, and it overall plays very well. A tier. Mute City. This one is kind of boring to me since it's mostly just driving straight with boosts. C tier. Wario's Gold Mine. I like this track way more in Mario Kart Wii, but it's still decent in this game. Unlike Mario Kart Wii, this version sadly doesn't have interesting shortcuts. B tier. SNES Rainbow Road. Another very plain and simple Rainbow Road, but the driving on it is pretty alright. C tier. Ice Ice Outpost. This is another one of these majorly overrated tracks in my opinion. This one has three shroomless shortcuts, which could be a great thing, but they're all insanely risky in online mode, and they're barely rewarding even when you do them. This is also one of the lamest designs in the entire game. E tier. Hyrule Circuit. A circuit track with a Zelda design. The Gladys Strat and the Shumla Shoiker at the ending is pretty satisfying though. C tier. Baby Pike. Yeah, I think most of us are gonna agree that this track is absolutely awful. The only reason why I like this more than Excite Back Arena is that it's at least over quick. F tier. Cheese Land. This is pretty much the bagging track with Dry Dry Desert, but somehow I still enjoy the chaos of this track and the design is pretty cool. A tier. Wild Woods. Very nice track with great ideas. Love the mini turbo glider here. A tier. Animal Crossing. I would say that this is my favorite track of the original tracks in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. The winter version was my favorite track in the game before the booster pass were released. All the different seasons bring great variety into this track. The soundtracks are also one of the best in the game. The winter version being my favorite soundtrack in the entire game. S tier. New Bowser City. One of the most satisfying simple front running tracks, but sadly the track is very tight, which makes it very spammy and chaotic online. B tier. Ribbon Road. The concept of this track of you being a tiny driver in a children's playing room is great, but the design itself is just a bit too simple, but still overall a great drive. There is one track with a similar concept that just did it way better. B tier. Super Bell Subway. Pretty chaotic track and great idea. I do enjoy this one usually. B tier. Big Blue. The stronger F-Zero track, this one has so many amazing shimless shortcuts, which just makes this one very satisfying to play. A tier. So now we have arrived at the booster pack horses. Paris Promenade. This one is highly disliked and competitive from my experience besides from inside drifting bikers. I don't really mind it that much. Pretty simple but charming design and the driving itself is pretty fine. B tier. Toad Circuit. This track perfectly describes why I don't like circuit tracks and why I can't forgive Nintendo for adding so many useless basic circuit tracks into the game. There's basically nothing interesting about this track. Sorry Liam. E tier. Choco Mountain. Another very simple track with not a lot of interesting stuff around it. D tier. Coconut Mall. A classic track from Mike. A week. Great adaptation. Could have been done much better. A tier. Tokyo Blur. This was such a waste of potential. Since I really like Tokyo and I'm actually visiting it this year in April. But man, this track is boring. D tier. Shroom Ridge. This is basically a daytime moon view highway. Pretty satisfying to drive and some nice comeback shortcuts. B tier. Sky Garden. This is the worst version of Cloud Top Cruise. It has two pretty nice super bounce and a nice shroom the shortcut at the end. But still overall a pretty annoying track. D tier. Ninja Hideaway. A very unique track design and driving wise, and a very interesting shortcut. B tier. To conclude it, Wave 1 was pretty bad. <laughs> New York Minute. Man, in the last few tracks, I've been kind of saying the same thing, but I'm sorry, this track is boring. D tier. SNES Mario Circuit. I like this one way more in my Kawi. This is a big bagger still, not a very interesting track as well. D tier. Kalimari Desert. This really is the worst desert track. The very long drifts are just so boring to drive. E tier. Waluigi Pinball. It's probably controversial, but this track is just not really fun to drive for me, even after practicing it. This track 
Sometimes it's just very stressful to drive and not in a fun way. E tier. Sydney Sprint. This is a glorified circuit track. Really nothing interesting about it in my opinion. D tier. Snowland. This track has one of the coolest and biggest shortcuts in the game which really upgrades it. Besides from that, it's still a simple winter track. C tier. Man, if it wouldn't have been for the next track, Wave 2 would have been an awful wave. But Nintendo seemed to realize they added the worst tracks possible to this wave, so to compensate, they added Mushroom Gold. This track already was my third favorite track in my career, and they really did a great remake with this one. The super buns are very satisfying, and the fact that they kept the gap jump, and you can't even do the fence jump, makes it even better. This is my second favorite track in the game, S tier. But of course, they had to add an awful track right after this amazing track, which is Sky High Sunday. This is a better version of what x Park Arena and Baby Park is. An oval track, but with better design. E tier. Fortunately, Wave 3 is much better. London Loop. I've been in London around 10 years ago, and Sherlock is my favorite series, so I love the city ever since. Sadly, I feel like they didn't really do the city much justice, and the big shulker at the end just turns this into a big bang track, sadly. C tier. Boo Lake. Just like on Twisted Mansion, I was very happy that we got another creepy-ish track, and this is just such a beautiful track. The mini turbo stun, shroom the shortcut, and the low stun at the end just turns this into such a simple but amazing track. S tier. Rock Rock Mountain. This track is just absolutely awful. And that is mostly caused by this unnecessary long glider section where you just fly around for like 10 seconds. Absolutely nothing about this track is interesting, which for me makes it F tier. Maple Tree Way. A beautiful remake from My Kawi. This nearly is as good as a My Kawi. This is pretty much the autumn track in the game. A tier. Berlin Byways. This is my hometown and they really did it justice. This track really makes me feel at home and the driving itself is pretty satisfying as well. It's kind of like an upgraded Shroom Ridge. A tier. Peach Gardens. Great chill track. I love the twist that you drive backwards at the ending. A tier. Merry Mountain. This is the Christmas track and I think it's pretty satisfying to drive as well. A tier. 3DS Rainbow Road. I love the idea of driving around and past all sorts of planets. Definitely one of the better Rainbow Roads. But the slow moon part sadly kinda ruins it. B tier. Amsterdam Drift. I've been in this city twice in real life and really liked it both times, but I feel like just with London, Nintendo didn't really do this city justice with this track. It's an alright track, but not really too interesting. Also, the underwater part is just really not enjoyable. C tier. Riverside Park. Alright guys, call me the Riverside Park connoisseur because man, I love this track. This track looks beautiful. Even though this is a bagging track, it usually works out for me as a runner. Also, the most important thing, look at the piranha plants walking around. They literally look so goofy, but I absolutely love it. This is my fourth favorite track in the game. S tier. DK Summit. Man, Nintendo was cooking with this wave. They added my second favorite track from my career, and they did a great remake with this. I absolutely love that they kept the double cut, even though they made it a lot easier compared to my career. But honestly, I started to love it because... With not a lot of practice, you can pull off the double cut every single lap. This track is simply perfect. The half pipe at the beginning, the mountains where you can spam your stuns, then the most satisfying Shroomless shortcut in the game, and then even more half pipes. This is my favorite track in the game. S tier. Yoshi's Island. A pretty cute track. I love the secret bridge, which you can enable at the end by flying into the question mark cloud. Overall, a pretty decent drive. B tier. Bangkok Rush. Another simple track, but the design is pretty cool. Don't really know what to say about this one. One. B tier. DS Mario Circuit. Man, another circuit track. Nintendo just loves adding boring circuit tracks with every single wave. There are some nice shortcuts, which makes it a bit more interesting, but I really don't like the ending part. C tier. Waluigi Stadium. We are back with the insane tracks. This track is like an even better Wario Stadium. Already loved this track in Mario Wii, but I honestly love it even more in this game. Because of the Shroomless shortcut, the satisfying half pipes, and the mini turbo ram strat at the end. This is my third favorite track in the game. S tier. Singapore Speedway. This design is pretty beautiful, but sadly there are just way too many parts where you just drive straight, which kind of gives off a circuit track feeling. C tier. Athens Dash. Pretty nice track to drive, really like the design. Starts off great, but the middle section is kind of boring and the ending is amazing. B tier. Daisy Cruiser. This is another really summer vibey track, which I really enjoy. Even though it's a very simple track, the idea of driving in a ship is just so cool to me. A tier. Moonview Highway. 
way. I feel like Nintendo could have added so many better sharks from the way than this one. Like, for example, Wii Bowser's Castle, my favorite shark from Mario Kart Wii. But yeah, this shark just feels way too simple, and it's very hard to come back after a bad start here, since this is usually just one of the best running tracks. B tier. Squeaky clean sprint. This is the track I meant earlier when I said another track did it better than Ribbon Road. The idea of driving around in someone's bathroom is just such a cool idea. And it's really satisfying to drive as well. And I would consider this one to be the best underwater track as well. S tier. Los Angeles laps. I feel like this was such a waste of potential as well, since I'm a fan of some parts of LA, but this is still a great track. But it could have been better. A tier. Sunset Wilds. Yeah, this is just another boring desert track, sadly. I heard at some point that the core idea of this track was that the sun actually goes down over time on this track, and that could have made this track so much better. D tier. Koopa Cape. Oh man, Nintendo, you crazy people did it again with the Wii remakes. This is absolutely wonderful, astonishing, mind-blowing, you name it. This is just such a great drive. I also love the fact that they allow you to just drive over the waterfall in this game. In Mario Kart Wii, you could just do that with a mushroom. This is my fifth favorite track in the game. S tier. Vancouver Velocity. A pretty okay track, too much straight driving, which feels pretty boring. C tier. Rome Avanti. Some nice shortcuts and just overall a pretty fun drive, but the glider section at the end is kind of annoying. B tier. DK Mountain. Once again, Nintendo kept the great shroomless shortcut on this track. This track slaps as well, but I don't like it that much like a Mario Kart Wii. A tier. Daisy Circuit. One of the few non-boring circuit tracks, but still not amazing. B tier. Piranha Plant Cove. This is a great underwater track with an amazing design, but some parts kind of feel wonky to drive. A tier. Madrid Drive. This is my favorite city track right after Berlin, of course. Very nice drive, and honestly, I just like Berlin more because of nationality bias. A tier. Rosalina's Ice World. I actually didn't like this track when it came out at all, but I've grown to like it quite a bit. B tier. Bowser's Castle 3. Nintendo finally did it. After I've been begging them on my knees for months, they added Bowser's Castle. And this one really slaps, and so does the soundtrack. A tier. Wii Rainbow Road. This is another beautiful remake from my Wii, and this is my favorite Rainbow Road in the game. A tier. So that's been it with my ranking of all 96 My Kart 8 Deluxe tracks. I hope you enjoyed. I spent a lot of time on this video, so I would really appreciate a like or a subscribe. Stay awesome. It's a boy, Phil. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment.